Hey everyone, so we've gone past the first Tuesday of the month again, which of course means that Epic have provided some more free content on the Unreal Marketplace. As always, I'm just going to go through a quick overview to have a look at what we have available this month and then go in a bit more of a deeper dive on each of the different assets. There's also something that I recommend sticking around for at the end of the video. I have a few additional things which I think are going to be really cool that people will find interesting to look at outside of the monthly content. So stick around for that, but we'll go through the monthly free assets first of all. We have our five different assets this month. Again, it seems as though we don't have a permanently free item going into the rotation. At least at the time of recording, nothing has been announced, but something to look out for maybe in the upcoming weeks. The five free assets that we have this month are the Art of Shader, a film and special effects pack. The Opera House Kit, which is just a kind of kit bash mesh asset assortment there. Likewise for the Maelstrom Oak Forest and also the Modern House, these are just kind of visual assets. And then finally we have Vault It, the multiplayer vaulting system. The Art of Shader, this is going to be quite an interesting one to look at. Again, I love these. Anything which, especially for viz or tech artist, and there's something I'm looking to pick up and improve my skills in that area as well, are the kind of tech artist and tech overlap. So these types of things I really like to see in the rotation. Uh, we have a ton of different examples here. It comes with some demonstration assets that you can add to your project, which we'll look at in just a moment, as well as this overview here. You can see the idea of what we have uh, available in this pack. The main thing to note, this has definitely been aimed more at kind of cinematics and rendering, but all of these are post-process effects. And the most important thing, of course, is that we can go in here, break these down, look at the materials, see how they're made, reverse engineer them, and learn a little bit more about the kind of tech art side of things. In the demo project, you can see it's just the very kind of standard Unreal template room provided. All of the different stands are linked to specific blueprints, and within those blueprints, you can find which materials are responsible. The effects you can see changing as we go through the different colliding boxes. We have things like the chromatic aberration, which aren't quite as intense, or you can definitely turn those intensities down. And then we've got other things like the CRT, which completely take up the entire screen and have a much more kind of visual effect. So I'm just going in and out of uh, a few of these. There are quite a lot to look at. I think they're over 50. So you can have a look at this in your own time and see all of the different things that you can break down. Some of them have things like rain, snowfall, uh, this glass effect I thought was pretty cool. And many, many others. As I said, though, the main thing is going to be seeing how these are actually built, how they work. And that's as simple as finding the, the effect that you like the look of. Navigating to the blueprint, you can see here, they're all just post-process volumes or post-process materials, we can have a look at the instance, so we can tweak and change the intensities and the effects, everything's been exposed in a very nice way. And then of course the important thing is that we can dive into the parent material or the base material, we can look at how the functions are set up, the different properties, and we can see how we could potentially build upon this and make our own. Again, where that learning from reverse engineering really comes into play. I'm going to jump straight over to Vault It. We'll have a small look at the visual assets a little bit later. This one, I just wanted to go over a few of the kind of key features. The main things to be aware of are mainly that this isn't a project-based plugin. So you'll install this to the engine, your engine version. You'll add this as a plugin to the project that you want to use it. And then when you have that, you will add the different components and the different animation assets and things like that through the standard blueprint search. And of course, there's a lot more documentation on how to implement these things specifically. But just so you know, that's the process of getting this one ready and installed to your engine version. As far as the content itself goes, it's not something I can see myself using. This is heavily reliant on the gas system, gameplay ability system. The developer does mention and highlight uh, quite often if you look through the documentation and things that you don't need to understand how to work with gas, but it is used as the kind of principles of the project. So you will need to at least understand how to work within the framework and add your tags and things like that to get things working. Now, for me personally, gas is just a little bit overkill for, I think, the majority of projects, especially if you're not targeting a multiplayer project. And of course, this is a multiplayer vaulting system, so I don't see myself having use for that type of thing. So I think the, the, the reliance on gas is a little bit unfortunate just because gas alone is already such a huge system and framework to learn and understand. It's going to make modifying this or customizing this plugin even harder because you also have to then account for all of the framework and groundwork that's based on gas as well but as they mention in their documentation if you're able to use this pretty much out of the box without needing to change too much of the vault it plugin then the reliance on gas isn't a huge problem it's just a case of understanding that that will be involved and will be needed 
to run the project. Overall though, it looks pretty cool. There's probably some stuff in here you can take away just from things like collision checks, the distance checks, the way that you'd implement the animation blending and things like that. So there will definitely be some use from this plugin. As I said, it's just not one that I've personally installed or have any intention of really covering in depth just because it's not something that I could see making much use of myself. Next then, the Opera House kit. It is a kit if you wanted to make an Opera House. It has all of the assets that you would expect, uh, walls, seats, curtains. We have some lighting, a grand piano, microphone, and so on. It looks pretty good. Apparently it is all well made, uh, textured and everything to the requirements and standards that you'd expect. We have a very similar thing for the modern house kit. We've got some very high fidelity kind of assets you can see here. A nice clean looking aesthetic. You can see some strange visual artifacting going on, but that is just because I'm recording this one. The other ones I've been able to find footage from the, the developers, so official kind of trailers and things. This one, they didn't provide a trailer, so I've had to capture this myself in editor. And I think I've got another issue going on with my graphics card. So you can kind of ignore that visual noise that is I think from my graphics card. But again, this one has everything you'd expect from a modern house. Uh, tables, chairs, floors, books, and uh, so on. And of course we have the Maelstrom Oak Forest. Uh, everything you'd expect in a forest, trees, rocks, grass, etc. This one, I've seen people saying that there's uh, potentially some kind of hiccups and issues with the performance, but everything looks as though it's kind of set up in the, the optimized way that you'd hope for. It could just be that the demo level that people are using is maybe a little bit overpacked or whatever to make it look good. But yeah, it's a, it's a nature pack. So moving on to the bonus content for the week, uh, because the monthly content for a little while has been somewhat underwhelming every month for several months now, what I've started doing is looking through the content which kind of slips under the radar, has gone permanently free or just released as a free asset that I think is actually really, really good quality. There are a few this month that I wanted to go through. So these are just some of the things that I've found. I'd always recommend looking through the free option. You can sort by, by newest release and see what's available. The first one, of course, we're going to look at is the fixed camera system this is a very cool one this comes with a project which i always like to see so everything's kind of already set up for you to play around with fairly simple functionality but this is great if you wanted to make something like your resident evil dream game project it has everything set up to do smooth transitions between different places based on three different systems you've got the fixed camera the rail camera and then the uh, like the camera tracking volume so yeah you can see all of that playing out in the background this is the project that they provide there's some documentation which isn't i'll be honest great but again because they provide this project you can kind of just see how everything's intended to be set up from this example and you can kind of work it out from there which is why i really like when these developers provide projects like this for us to play around with just to mention this is another one as well that you install to your engine version so it's a plugin you install it to your engine version you'll activate it in your project and then you can find the the three main actors which i mentioned before from this drop down here so you just drag in the fixed camera or whatever you're looking for again to replicate a scene just like this so it's super easy to add to the engine and then you can use this in any of the projects that you may need this type of camera system Next up, we have the interactive world. Another nice one, again, going back to wanting to get a little bit more familiar with uh, the kind of tech art features. So this was a great time for me to find this one. It's gonna be a really, really useful insight into things like using render targets specifically, essentially how things like the water distortion and warping and the tracking where, where you've gone through to make tracks in the snow. Uh, we just kind of draw this out of a render target. As a fully playable demo, this isn't in editor, unlike the other one, but uh, the demo gives you a really good idea of what features are included. We also have access to the source code through Git if you needed to make any changes or updates to this. And you can see here, we've got different physics objects as well, which will also interact with things like the foliage, the snow, and the water as the examples which are given. And I really like the kind of visual implementation to give you an idea of what's happening on the render target in the top right side there and showing the render targets for the individual different surfaces that you can interact with. So this one looks like it's going to be a really, really cool project to dive a little bit deeper into and see exactly how things are working and get a better understanding of that type of tech art setup. And then the last main one, there's another one to come, so stick around for that. But the final main one is one provided by Epic. So this is an official example project for the control rig. This is a system I was actually trying to get a little bit more familiar with uh, a couple of months ago. And the only real content provided is in the content examples, which isn't super, super in depth. This comes with three different characters. We've got the mannequins, which I'm not too interested in. We have this cool bungee character, which is really interesting. It's always nice to see something, especially in an Epic pack, which isn't just using 
using the standard mannequin. There are already like a thousand different tutorials specifically about how to work the mannequin. So seeing this bungee guy for a more kind of stylistic animation setup is really interesting. Uh, I said three, there's also a box. I apologize, I forgot about the box. And we have the, the cool mech to work with as well. We can see a kind of more mechanical approach to using the control rig. Now, the other thing to mention is that this is directly linked to some learning content they've provided. So I'll be sure to provide links to this in the description below. There's a blog post that you can see the control rig overview in, and then also a video going a little bit more in detail about how all of this is set up and what you can do with the control rig resources. So really cool stuff, I think, for people who wanted to start using this more. Now, this one doesn't have a demo scene or anything provided, but you do just install it. You add it to an existing project. You'll get a bunch of different folders. So you've got the bungee man, the mannequins, the mech, all of their control rigs, some of the animations they come with. Uh, and the control rigs are really, really nicely set up. So everything's kind of ready for you to start playing with, animating, and kind of, again, my favorite thing, reverse engineering to see how things are set up, what they're doing, how you could implement this into your own project. So all of the IK stuff is ready here to go with. So if we just expand this quickly, change this around, we can see that we can move the mech up and down and the legs will try and stay in place past a certain point. We can get the feet and we can move this around. So yeah, all of the kind of joint work that you'd expect to see uh, in place here. And it's really nice because again, you can see all of the rotation, everything's kind of being accounted for in the, uh, the more mechanical approach here as well. So as I mentioned, we see things like the mannequins being set up and demonstrated in thousands of other tutorials. So it's nice to see something a little bit different, even something just slightly more unique, like setting up this bungee guy, because it's not your kind of standard proportions human. This is going to be, again, really fun to play around with, see exactly how we can make some changes to this for some interesting animations and control rig. Quite happy to see this one. Really good timing, really cool pack. And the final one, the uh, the Rube Goldberg Machines Learning Kit. This is more of a honorable mention. It's not really a pack. It's kind of a part of the, the Epic Learning products that they've, they've been putting together. So you can download this. You get the project as standard. It doesn't really do much by default. It's just a bunch of assets ready for you to go through the learning curriculum that they provide. So it's still a really good one to just download and play around with, all based around obviously physics. And if you follow the links on the, the Marketplace page, you can see you'll get a bunch of different things. So you've got some pages, going over specific tutorial topics and in in these what you'll need to do is basically get hold of the course assets and the lesson plans whether you wanted to provide this as an educator or as the student following it so it's kind of like a little bit of self-learning if you wanted to go through this just some really interesting stuff and it's nice to see these again anything that helps people get more comfortable familiar with different parts of the engine i think these are going to be really good ways to get more people comfortable with what is quite a large game engine so as i said not too much to go through visually on this one uh, which is why i don't have anything installed in ready to go but if you wanted to go through this and see about how to add physics to things like as i say here wheels pulleys screws with all of these readily available assets essentially learning how to replicate real life physics through a game engine then this is going to be a pretty cool project i think